scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. That there is a system with which the saints reign. I hope you know that in the Garden of Eden there were no apostles, there were no prophets, there were no teachers, there were no churches, there were no, um, what do we call it, conferences. I told us in part one how that redemption was a restoration process to restore us back. But for many believers who are walking on the earth like fugitives, like vagabonds, hoping that the trumpet will announce our rest. Let me tell you something. It is a very unfruitful way of living. The scope of Christianity for an average believer is being in Christ and walking in a lifetime of doubt and fear, wondering whether you will make heaven or not, and trusting the sound of a trumpet to prove if you disappear, then you are glad you made it. A victorious God would not design such a poor system. Even men with our limited understanding, we have designed intelligent systems. God cannot design such a foolish system and keep a man 80 years on earth. And the only reason why that man was on earth was to, born, to be born, hand his life to Christ and wait until the day he goes to heaven. Heaven is real. Heaven is true. But let me tell you something. God's ultimate goal is not just to go to heaven. We are returning. God's ultimate goal is to be able to satisfy the fullness of his eternal counsel. Are we together? And this will happen when we fulfill the dominion mandate. The mandate to take control, to take charge of earth. God is always interested in earth. Notice that everything that has happened in the Bible, even every time heaven was mentioned, it was with respect to earth. There's something God wants to be fulfilled here. And we are the ones mandated to make it happen. Governance. The Bible says, the heavens, even the heaven of heavens, is an ancient word that qualifies, like you say, daughter of daughters, son of sons. The heaven of heavens, listen, belongs to God. But it says the earth, still part of his kingdom, but he has allocated to the sons of men. In other words, listen carefully, brothers and sisters. The chaos that is happening in the earth is not the will of God. The sicknesses, the poverty, are we together now? The, the ugly manifestation of darkness, the failures that come to the life of people, the spiritual bankruptcy within the nations is a proof that the saints have largely not come into the fullness of God's expectation as far as kingdom governance is concerned. Now in the earth when we vote a governor or a counselor or whatever kind of political leader, we look forward to seeing changes within that, that socioeconomic system. When we see roads being built, hospitals rehabilitated, schools rehabilitated, we now turn back to the person and we say, you have done a good job. And then we do our best to make sure we give him another tenure. But in a situation where under the watch of that person, several things go bad, 
we turn back to the person and say you are this is poor legislature this is poor execution it's a sign that you are not serious and you are not qualified for that office that's why i said god is re-handing over scepters to men many of us do not understand what this means dominion has evidences the order and the dexterity that is around your life is a sign that you are alive the bible says something very interesting when you read um psalm 8 and then you go to hebrew chapter 2 um don't turn there i will give us the verses later on but he was speaking about paul was making reference to the psalm of david and he says what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than elohim crowned him with glory and you know power and you have set him over the works of your hands now listen and he says in doing so you did not leave anything there was absolutely nothing that includes hiv listen carefully that includes other sicknesses that have not yet been fabricated by the gate of hell that are still coming i hope you know that there are still plagues coming plagues that will make hiv look like malaria hell enlarging itself raising an assault against the saints but jesus said i will build my church and i will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell shall not prevail governance so i'm going to be teaching us how kings reign and god's system of governance will be very fast because i want us to pray we trust god for a supply of great grace tonight in the name of jesus genesis chapter one the book of the beginnings are you ready david sing that song for us while we powerful song for those of you coming here for the first time this is koinonia a habitation that is absolutely conducive for the holy spirit and this is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people
bless the Lord. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Now, I want to show you the system of shared dominion. We see it here. Are we together? And God said, read the next two words. One to go. Let us. I'll tell you what else to read. Make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the godhead let us there is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to god's sovereign power and wisdom the saints can never tap into that dimension any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that lucifer did let us that's the first revelation i want you to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does 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 mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of god in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have sat for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are given any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions 
what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he's mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have dominion mm. read for me verse 20 and 21 20 and 21 please let me show you something about water read are you a christian we are reading 20 and 21 ready and god said stop where did the creatures come out from read your bible where did they come out of are you seeing that now let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where hey. <laughs> that may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come abundance i give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your bible I want a child and that word is transported to a region where it should not be and you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him and comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost the power the air is so important satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me i want to many of you think satan is down this air is where mysteries happen whoever takes control of the spiritual climate the air the physical atmosphere you'll be so blessed tonight i want to open your eyes to certain things there is a way kings reign it's not just by speaking i will never be this calm down just let's take it easy and you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling we talk and think that because we are mentioning right words uh -uh. 
and over what is the third territory the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen genesis 1 26 is not an is not a suggestion it's not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the bible say i said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the godhead he said this man we have made let them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind god needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes god will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask god are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no i passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um, parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 and god blessed them and said unto them these are the facets that are contained in dominion number one be fruitful be fruitful there is no dominion without fruitfulness number two multiply that means god's idea is not just that you rule alone to multiply means that your seed your seed your seed must also partake in governance not just your physical seed your seed is anything that comes out of you your ideas are we together where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves god and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances 
and prevail over them that's how you have dominion upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes. there must be a system of continuity replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden in the east of eden an authorized man that through a system that man will extend that garden all over the earth god never created the whole earth and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of eden the garden of eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from eden and now use them to reproduce earth governance entails a number of things we must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us our concept of governance is usurping authority over men are we together when we say you are in governance even from a kingdom dimension many people's idea is that i have two or three people that answer yes sir to me and once they see that they say wow i am in governance and then i ill treat them in the public to show that i have some kind of superior advantage that is not dominion that is oppression oppression everywhere this template of oppression was told there was rebellion somewhere sometime read it all through scripture pharaoh oppressed the people of god for a long time one day they were tired god too was tired he joined them and together they sank into the red sea and their lives that kingdom that dynasty just went places you do not oppress men oppression is not dominion let me talk about oppression before i talk about this do you know what oppression is oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also it's a dangerous state it's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of god whose idea of fatherhood whose idea of mentorship is oppression is witchcraft we take away the liberty of people i don't mean accountability we literally create a theology that makes us own people we own their lives we own their time are you ready for oppression number two unemployment forever is oppression hmm. did you hear what i said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression 
I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome man. Mortal man, awesome man. According to scripture, read your Bible. Employment, employment as we know, started with Jacob and Laban. Is that true? God would work with people and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built. But a time must come. You don't need to have a new platform, but you no longer receive salary. You become a partaker of the blessings of that system. This is God's system. Are we together? But it was Laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers and he found out that there was something on Jacob and he said I will leave this guy I will keep tipping him enough to remain with me then one day Jacob asked a question and said I have served you when will I now go and have my own house when will I build my own life and Laban said don't ever bring that statement again does that sound like employment I will keep you here and then later he said okay I need a wife and this guy look at how wicked he was when he knew that he was going to get his wife this man suffered for seven good years when it was time to have his wife what happened they changed them is that true and then kept him again look how jacob suffered like a fool he was the one who was doing the work but who was the credit going to listen any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people, the tribe that does this well are evil people today. You see it? They are using that kingdom system. That's why there is continuity. So they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while. Is that true? And then eventually, they now start telling him, okay, we leave you in the shop. And then one day, there's what we call settling. Am I right, evil people? And that settling, you don't just say, okay, go back to your father's house. No. You are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation you don't necessarily need to have your own corporation are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate that's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there and for as long as they are there forever you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye that's a cost system you don't like what you're hearing Huh. you better like it too because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people in the name of spiritual fatherhood i believe in fatherhood i believe in mentorship but there are people today who own the atms of people there are pastors who own the atms of people there are pastors who own they can tell anybody bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people
to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even um in in ancient times there was a season called jubilee jubilee F, after every seven year there was a sabbath and then after 49 years seven sets of sabbaths the 50th year was declared a year of jubilee and at that year you will release every slave not just release them to go but empower them no matter what happened to them but you can empower them and they can say you have been a good master for me i don't want to go in that case you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression so I just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel I need to go back to my house. Dominion mandate. My wife has not been listening to me. Now that I'm going back, she will know that I have dominion. Where are you? From today, you cook what I eat. That's, that's, that's not it. There are several people from several nations listening and it's, it will be costly to assume. We need to define the concepts here that we are stating so that people do not oppress people a man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say i am your father you must listen to me oppression everywhere from the bible and through history where there was oppression there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually how do kings reign how do we execute this dominion mandate when it comes to execution and legislature what are the systems what are the dimensions of dominion number one how do we dominate in this kingdom the ministry of prayer number one i want to show you how kings legislate how we dominate the ministry of prayer philippians chapter 4 please 6 and 7 you will not suffer my food to be I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me Portal man, awesome God. Portal man, awesome God. be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution that's not what he's saying are we together it, it, it describes um the the resistance that comes as a result of fear of uncertainty and it says be careful for nothing but in everything by what prayer and supplication let your request the authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how about god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made it says by prayer and supplication then with thanksgiving this is the system the same way when you have a company if pastor alpha has a company now and say i'm his secretary he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table are we together there are others you need to write and sign we need five bags of this ten bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe 
that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggi and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request know. make it known through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of the of dominion then we'll round up all right first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it all we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you i, I trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty 
if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors god grants you access to their heart oh that stupid boss stupid stupid man he removed ten thousand from my salary god is hearing you now you would think you will win because it's true that he removed that there is something about authority that even god respects he says pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior uh-huh who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are armed robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost art that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers is one of the ways you know that the city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities 
and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread i'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in zaria men and women zaria zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed some of them did not even know what was leading them every night every day in zaria there is always something happening somebody is praying somewhere in your room at the back of one fence somewhere under a tree prayer doesn't matter the location and gradually you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many so people don't like to pray it's a lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication is more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire i've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gouda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn through your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to pray and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel I, and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time 
can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snow your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i changed this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look god is the god of all flesh the, the curtain has been torn uh, you know left and right there's no priest again no mediator and and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage we come up and stand bragging making our voices husky and god is here right now and uh, you're about to see what will happen here and at the end and you know members are very dangerous people they note everything you say you said the power of god will move so they're waiting at the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are, they are they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know i have discovered that over 60 percent i'll repeat what i just said but listen over 60 percent of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction direction what to do where to go lord should i be in zaria now or should i leave lord is this house your will for me or not if the issue of direction is sorted out many people will not be where they are prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody's rising nobody's succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school oh it's not old school 
no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that God is in what you are doing please I beg you in the name of Jesus pay it to marry pay it I think I, I God gave me a brain I feel like having 11 children you better pray you better pray pray don't let carnality drive us we live I, I'm very serious carnality has destroyed many people we don't seek God for direction we seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired we now run and say God why didn't you stop me and God said me no I gave you a will I've already said let them have dominion if you return back to me prayer is a sign of humility it's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated prayer is a great sign of humility imagine that you make somebody maybe a director in your company and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any problem? No, 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 boss. I'm, I'm okay. I mean, you just taught me. And then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing. And say, why didn't you come? Say, boss, I've told you. Shabi, you say, if I need, I will come there. You are destroying that man's company and your pride. Prayerlessness is pride, though. It's not just sin. It's pride. Will I be able to live my life without prayer? Leading a ministry like this? You know, many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication. Are we together? When you know that, let me tell you the truth. Ask those who are close to me. I pray to get topics. It doesn't mean I don't plan. But I sit down and I pray, Lord, please speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. The goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar, calendar events. The goal is to find out make sure what you are saying is what the spirit is saying because when you say what god is not saying he cannot back you remember in the book of ezekiel is wherever the spirit goes that the cherubims follow you see that don't just come and bring nonsense and want god to back you god is not a house boy we must respect him to prayer if you are here and you have never joined the prayer department even if it's for once for prayer why don't you make it this tuesday apostle i don't feel like praying that's why you should know your life is under attack so one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire say in the name of jesus i receive grace to return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs you that you are not doing anything now you want a free job in one year free wife twins what, what kind of demand in this world oh come on pray take charge of climate you get up in the morning you are happy you are going to take a serious trip you are hearing that people are dying on the road it's not to plant fear you don't you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you are, you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person i have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls oh god fire 
in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible say while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you. please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ah so far ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down you will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Judas. jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that paul saw please we must pray every church service must have a section allocated for prayer no matter how small i don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a bible study session is whatever it is a prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service for step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days why do we pray we pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories why do we pray as a system of dominion to exercise spiritual influence your church will never grow if you don't pray your church will never grow just because you are anointed no there are many anointed people who never experience growth you need to pray why because a great door and an effectual has been opened but many adversaries satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace you must pray satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you you must pray don't assume pray it's better for there to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. Help me. 
see that I saw it listen if you don't pray things will be happening above you you will never know and you will sit down who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will who can stand against our king no one can no one will oh Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. The victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. one minute i like you to blast in the spirit just just shake up your spirit we are men and women of dominion two prayers we take charge of our climate charge of our territories we stay in the hands of evil Come on, pray, pray, believers. Shake of every evil, shake of every plot, shake of every agenda. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Japos Kataratosia. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon. Hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? some bad dreams are not from demons they are a sign they are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong wake up wake up the spirit is willing this body you have drunk it with food you have drunk it with carnality no capacity to stand up and legislate
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to sit down shortly, but listen to me. If you don't have an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life, you are not growing. You are not a spiritual person. Please hear me. By God's grace, and I say it with all humility, I think with all humility, I'll be one of the busiest persons in this place. I travel all the time. I don't pray at the same rate every day, but you must allocate time. Time where if, you, if need be, you switch your phone. If you can keep it on, keep it on, but pray. All this issue of, I have a program somewhere, I have a wedding somewhere. Is it not when you are alive? I'm not talking of praying as a result of fear. You are a king. There is a scepter on your hand. Let them, remember this word, let them, if you must sanitize your environment, it is up to you. Fathers, teach your children how to pray. Not just how to go to school. Teach them how to pray. When you are praying, carry them. Don't say they are small, they are sleepy. That's why we thank God for these are little ones. If they sleep, let them sleep while prayer is going. Hear me? Samuel was lying down close to the ark. That's why he had the voice of God. You don't hear the voice of God everywhere. He said, above the mercy seat, below the cherubims, there I will meet with you and I will relate with you intimately. Please sit down. Why do we pray? Prayer gives you the access to the heart of God and the heart of men. Let me teach you dominion. Why do we pray? It gives you access. Hear me. There are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart. There are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you. They will never release it until God gives you their heart. He said, I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down wait and and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense a lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go you have been begging he's not listening he's saying bring this bring that or come and meet me somewhere you are saying sir let me move it's because you don't understand dominion all right sir i've heard you shut us Regete kotos kapari akata. Carry your cause, uh, your your cause form. Put it on the ground. Blast in tongues and declare, "I may be your student in the physical, but I'm a king in the spirit." I decree and declare, "You must let me go." Masas kota baya. Sign chapter three. Oh, regete kata kata. The next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey you again well, well, well as he's signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and turned the hand of things to work in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word Look at how many of our parents not moving forward. You are asking them what is wrong. They say, eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years. They fired the, an arrow. His leg is not working. And now your father is about to be 50. And all of you in the family are watching and laughing. Watching and laughing. You don't watch and laugh. I've shared with you my story. My father's younger brother died like a chicken. My father's elder brother died like a chicken. I have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit. I stopped it. Come on now. Refuse to allow things just move around in your life. 
you have you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family you get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them then you come as a fake prophet and say i saw it what did you do about it listen prophets cried in the bible when things happen and they did not see they said lord why did you hide this from me god hid things from prophets if you wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it they would stop it do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority i invoke the power of my secret place and i decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the god of heaven i curse them now i curse their operation i curse them now i curse their operation If you let the devil he will kill you I tell you this thing the Bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that is an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open Can we pray in one minute a favor provoking prayer and say I command the gates of favor open? The way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees, the power of words. Write it down. Kings reign by passing decrees. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. Media help us please. We have to conserve time because I want us to pray. Kings reign by passing decrees. The same way in the National House of Assembly. They sit down and legislate. It passes first reading, second reading and they pass it into law. Whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is passing decree is not just prayer passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit that i decree and declare that nobody nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family that's a decree elijah passed a decree there will be no rain i make it so let me tell you something listen the diviners and the witches in our villages this is how they program the destiny of men they invoke decrees nobody crosses 25 in this family even when they die the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree there must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere if you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up i didn't see very successful people 
from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a curse able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 no, no. i reject it ah marriage is now you see the way it is i'm only praying for you i hope you will like your marriage you may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public but you keep quiet in your heart no way mine is heaven on earth i make that choice decrease kings reign by decrease let me show you something isaiah 43 verse 26 isaiah 43 verse 26 while the media is trying to give us that i want you to write this down hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 the bible says god upholds all things by the word of his power even god uphold, upholds the universe read with me the b part please from let us everybody is projected one to read let us plead together uh-huh go ahead declare thou that what so how are you justified in the spirit you declare if you say i am free god says satan you had him he's done that's why the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so not wish so let the unemployed who want jobs say so not wish so when confession is made with understanding it is powerful it no longer becomes vain babbling my life is surrounded by words i have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries number three sit down the third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual this is talking about a man we call in the bible a popular scripture a man called bezalel are we together the tabernacle was about to be constructed and god had to move upon a man called bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent he will innovate our world today especially the church we are bankrupt of creativity that's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrees are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass last verse 
and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to face your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti-dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together Bishop David Oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seats. Somebody says, I read his book and I've been changed. Parents are your children, are your seats rising to take over. He says, his seat shall be mighty upon the earth. Psalms 112. His seat shall be mighty. His seat not have a mighty name. A big name. Is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses? Where are the conglomerates? Where are the value-adding structures? We almost don't have it in church. We sit around and we brag and we're happy. That's why I encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence. I've said it like a national anthem. I will not pastor weak people. I'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter. No. That's why I'm a friend to politicians. That's why I'm a friend to kings. You don't have to be corrupted by them. But you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing yx because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime now 
God is a God of transference. At a point in your life, you're, you should be able to end the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else. A mother who has five children, none of them can cook. That's a bad testimony for a mother. A father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances, has never taught them on marriage, has never mentored them on being a man, just leaves them to chance. That's why many young people are not successful. You know why? There is no transference. No transference. In Jewish days, fathers worked with their sons. When they became teenagers, they said, hey, settle down. Let me teach you how to be a man. You don't guess it. I teach you. Manhood is responsibility. This, oh yeah, I allocate a farm for you. Go and work. But right now, as a student, if you are doing any other thing, they say, don't do any other thing, no, settle down, school. But you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say, you're a very nice person. You see how we make people lazy. You see an able-bodied young man, a Christian, tongue talker, comes to stand in front of your house and say, I've not eaten. There are grasses everywhere. Grasses everywhere. Why don't you sit down and say, let me see how I can buy a machine. And then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen i want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem i think there is something that the people within ss2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when i'm eating your food that's dominion because it came from you a product of your creativity listen write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the guts to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh God, go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extramoral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you you trust god and pray and have 50 to 100 students will you beg for bread again we want something for nothing this laziness in africa is a cause parents please i challenge you any of your child that is mature enough tell him from today listen you are not just going to be getting free money after every month mommy i need money the next time i see grass in this house there's no salary for you it looks harsh but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of 900,000. Who do you think will give you the money? Start in your room. There are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity. Very soon, they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen. Dominion. 
they start exporting it. We are about rounding up, but lay your hands on your head and pray one minute. Lord, everything you have buried within me that I am to dominate with that seed, I prophesy it must come out. I command the books to come out. I command the programs to come out. Are you praying, please? Don't let the devil say you will not succeed. Do it and fail, but prophesy. Let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus. Let the exercise books come out in the name of Jesus. Let the award-winning tailoring um, um, outfit come out. Let the extra moral center come out. Let the business come out. Let the bank come out. Let the investment house come out. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I want you to know after today, I want you to go and sit down. Please. Especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything. Don't just pray and say, God, when will you wipe my tears? That's a foolish prayer. Go and sit down. Find a good friend and sit down. And say, no, we have to do something. We are, do it and fail. Failure does not kill. Do it. How much do you have? 100,000, 300,000. Let's have an agreement and sit down. At least you have 500, I have 500. You can buy one golf. We can buy a golf and start. Put it on the road. It's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week. We are starting. All this laziness around that people just do and say, I'm a king. You are not a king. Dominion through creativity. In fact, there is a message like that. You can get it after the, after the service. Some of you plat. And your plating is unusually exceptional. Why don't you package it? Why don't you package it? Some of you sing. Worship team. Some of you are looking at me. God is telling you it's time. There are some of you. There is a day worship team will produce the album. But start writing songs. Write songs. How many songs have you written? Two. When will you write the rest? God is helping me. You are not serious. You are absolutely not serious. Are you not seeing in the body of Christ now? People are tapping into their innate creativity. I'm not only a man of God. I'm many other things. I'm a businessman. I'm a leader. Over people. I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion. Dominion. Covenant University. Landmark University. Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos. And he carried six books. And he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker start speaking don't wait until there are people speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself god will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained are we together there is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity there is a dimension of dominion the aliko dangotes and the 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 opera winfrey's and the bill gates and even in the body of christ Great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within. Not just to complete a number of courses. Are we together now? Our educational system, we salute it, but it's limited in many ways. And one of it is in supplying, stimulating creativity. You must reinvent yourself. There is no such thing as being educated. You are learning or you are out. Don't say I'm educated. You are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out. Make up your mind today. 
that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are uncommon mentors in every area in this house. Whether it is in business, whether it is in finance, whether it is in leadership. Koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas. You have not identified them because you are not passionate. Pursuit is proof of passion. You must find out and search who can help me I, I have a passion for leadership who can help me not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things we're careless and callous and you know we, we have to challenge ourselves it is a secret of poverty secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen I know Abba is it not the God of Koinonia I know one day he will visit me you can dance all your life and remain the way you are fall down under the anointing roll up and down and get up you have commanded dominion realities are ready to be released in the spirit but there is no creativity no innovation next week is miracle service is it oh dear i would have added one more part it's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding is a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um Bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we are going to verse 15, 16, 17. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. So these are spirits, these are personalities, these are not just attributes that men have. Are we together? 15 now to 17. Then we are going 22 to 24. Verse 15 says, okay, by me kings reign, and princes decree what? Justice. 16 by me princes rule so how do you rule wisdom understanding and nobles even the judges of all the earth there's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding 17 i love them that love me and those who seek me what you can seek wisdom later and not find it because it takes time 22 to 24 the Lord possessed me. Yeah. 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 Are you a Christian? The Lord possessed me what? In the beginning of his way. Before the works of old. 23. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning. Or ever the earth was. That means before this earth concept came. I was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24 when there were no depths I was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water I wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was I mean it, it was 
all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me help me wrong get his own soul all they that hate me love death they have chosen to be defeated in life anyone who hates wisdom anyone who hates understanding is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me all they who hate me love death wisdom and understanding there is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth or praise to wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you 
what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of god was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of god and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song i'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord listen everybody say dominion through power say it again dominion through power many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and he said no i i have been anointed in koinonia i i there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick i say give me your hands i lay my hands on them i say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies i laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church you're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of god and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the holy ghost rise up on your feet we'll be singing forever holy Let me
me prophesy to you before we pray. I just sense in my spirit to speak over our lives. Many of us have lost things. Many of us have not seen the reality of dominion in our lives. But I want to speak to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Prophesy to yourself. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Turn it into a prayer. My scepter restored. Dominion enforced. I declare it. I decree. Lift your voice and pray. The scepter, the symbol of authority. Zaza Sakato Shegete Bata. Brakatos Kelebarianda Kashabaratosia. Everything, everything that was lost, everything I pursue, I overtake, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, every level that has been designed that I should enter by now in the realm of the spirit, I command that I must enter now in the physical, financially, spiritually, in influence. Sapata Sakata Late Kato Soto Breketeketa Shabaska Sasapakata Every dimension Joshua Selman enter that dimension Every spiritual dimension you are entering Every dimension financially Every dimension in ministry Every dimension in influence Sociologically I decree and declare Prophesy upon yourself Prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Shakoto soto koshe bakata. Leke teke teke te. Enough is enough. I take charge. I take charge. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. I want us to pray and challenge every force of darkness. I say I am back in charge back in charge lift your voice and pray shabas katatosh legatekate i may have been a, i may have been a prodigal son but i'm back in charge in the name of jesus legislature by the spirit dominion by the spirit i create my realities i create my possibilities by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shabbat Sokoto Baratai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. It's time for you to receive that grace. There is the Spirit of the Lord. Isaiah 11, the Spirit of Dominion. Isaiah 11 there is the spirit of the Lord it's not just a name for the Holy Spirit it is a dimension of his work in a man the spirit of dominion is a rule thou I want to speak to you right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy that everything that has been above you I release an anointing upon you to rise above every challenge right now in the name of Jesus take that fire now Take that anointing now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus. 
I decree and declare whatever you are struggling with right now that you've been trying to come out and it's like he's burying you by the spirit of dominion I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus the unction for fruitfulness receive it right now nothing dies in your hands receive it now receive it now number two the grace for multiplication many of you have never brought anything out of you you are only eating the seeds of others I command that your seed begins to rule now in the name of Jesus Christ from today as you open your mouth to utter words I decree and declare there will be a speedy performance a speedy performance as you pass the crease in the spirit there must be a speedy performance I decree and declare many of you have learned secrets in koinonia but the grace for you to walk in it is not yet there i command every mystery you have learned i empower you to begin to live by them i empower you to begin to live by them i force them to work for you the mystery of exemption in the name of jesus the mystery surrounding success i release them to produce for you in the name of jesus finally i pray for you the mantle and the strange grace for the supernatural miracles signs wonders the gift of the spirit i decree and declare prophecy word of knowledge access to mysteries in the name of jesus take it now take it now take it now take it now strange dimensions of the supernatural strange dimensions of the supernatural power to heal the sick power to cast out devils in the name of Jesus listen listen anyone fighting God in your life if you utter a word concerning them I declare that God backs you up immediately anyone who has added to the frustration of your family whether a spirit entity or a human entity right now I want you to agree with me I judge them by fire now I judge them now by the power of the Holy Ghost hear me any man that says over his dead body for you to walk in dominion I answer their prayers now may the earth open up and swallow them finally a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit that you have never seen in your life some of you from this night there will be strange encounters supernatural encounters supernatural encounters visionary encounters receive that supply of the spirit in the name of jesus christ hello him adonai thy kingdom come hello him I release you tonight to be a possessor no longer a wisher begin to possess the things that you have desired in the name of Jesus Christ everyone stand we're rounding up our time is gone 
tonight is a very strategic night please everyone stand inside outside there are people here the foundation of your working practically in dominion you joined us in the prayers but the truth is that your relationship there must be a restoration god gave man a, 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 a mandate at the beginning but there was a violation sin entered the system and corrupted the efficacy of this mandate you must encounter christ before you talk of true dominion and there are people following us online several nations of the world there are people inside here and in any of the overflows you are saying man of god i truly need to return to jesus i'm not playing games i know that i need jesus this dominion thing is not a joke there are others you are saying i have given my life to christ once but things just went in every direction in my life and i found myself derailing seriously i'm ready to return back home like the prodigal son to be granted the signet ring the scepter of royalty and the crown wherever you are our time is gone i'm going to count one to five please i want you to run wherever you are come to the front quickly now sustain the courage to come quickly god bless you god bless you there are people coming overflow one two three join them quickly join them quickly you can stand you can stand on your feet keep coming koinonia are you celebrating them there's fire on the mountain and you have to run 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 to jesus keep coming please if you're coming quickly i want to lead them to pray now don't sit down there and say man of god I i'm not sure if you are not sure join them quickly it looks like i gave and i came out for altar call one day i don't know the name of what i did join them clarify there's no room for any confusion when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were left you are not sure join them join them quickly my father is a pastor that's not the issue join them quickly i'm a worker in church it doesn't matter join them quickly hallelujah praise the lord i sincerely appreciate and honor every one of you for coming to make this decision it takes courage to come i want to pray for you quickly what you are doing is not a recitation it's in every way supernatural lift your right hand and pray this sincerely let your ears hear what your mouth is saying say lord jesus, lord jesus I, believe in you. I believe in you tonight, tonight I, declare I declare that you are the son of god, son of god. that you died for me you shed your blood for me you came back to life for me tonight I receive your life into my spirit I declare that Jesus is Lord over my life from today the Holy Spirit lives within me in the name of Jesus father thank you thank you I, I decree and declare that your sins are forgiven I decree and declare that you stand blameless before the throne i declare that from today the life of god is at work in you you begin to move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus thank you so much please follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you turn there's a gentleman waving his hands i want all of you to follow him they will lead you and have a word or so with you and you'll be back in the name of jesus thank you so much let's honor them quickly hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.